Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Aria Story. In the last episode, we got chased by a killer rabbit. We, uh, almost died to said killer rabbit, but ended up almost dying to our new party member. I'd show him off, but it won't let me for some reason. Uh, but his name is Lowen. He's out to kill us, but he won't say that to Aria's face. So, there's not really not much to do. See what's beyond the store. Oh, it's another book. Oh, these weren't here before. Let's see, what is what is this new book? Chapter three. Romance. Oh. Did Lowen join us at just the right time? Oh, I've lost all the things I've collected. Maybe you lost them while that thing was chasing you. No, they they were like I I just like open up my items menu to like do a little sync test to make sure the sound the sound's syncing up nicely before each episode starts. And yeah, and just yeah, they they were in there, so like I don't know what gives. Here's some stairs. Here's what I assume is a couch. What's over here? Can we go see what's over here? Yes, we can. Oh. The girl was no longer wandering alone through the land of the library. A dark haired boy was beside her. So it was true. There is someone else in this library. I must say that I am surprised. I did not know about this. However, it is a pleasant surprise. A new character can contribute to many things to a story. Don't you agree, Lowen? You know Lowen? Of course. What kind of narrator would I be if I did not know the names of the characters? Also, I don't know if it's Lowen or Lewin. In fact, I'm, I'll, I'll go with Lewin because, I don't know, it sounds nicer. Is that... My name is Narrator. My duty is to narrate what happens to Arya. Huh? Narrate? Mm. My duty is to narrate what Arya does, but should I also narrate what happens to you? Or are you not important? Wow, that's rude. It would be better if I consult him about it. Him? She said great things before leaving again. Do you know her? I barely know her. I saw her for the first time in this library. All I know is that she narrates everything I do. Narrate what you do? Why? I wish I knew. She usually doesn't answer my questions. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, standing here won't help us get out of here. <laughs> yep, you're right. Okay. Onward, then. Ooh, this is a nice, big, lovely fountain. Go for crisp water. Cup of tea. The tree of wisdom is thirsty. It's a shame that he only likes water. I would have offered him my cup of tea. Hmm. Something tells me we may have to go looking for a cup later. There are various special doors that are closed, but I can give you clues about how to open them. Which one do you want to open? Uh, sun door? The sun door will be open when the moon disappears. What about the moon door? When the stars disappear. Okay, what about the eclipse door? The eclipse door can be opened when the sun and moon unite. Okay. Hmm. Nothing seems to be over here. There's a... Is there a book stuck in that tree, or is that the Tree of Knowledge? Tree of Wisdom. Look, Lewin! There's a book sprouting from the tree! Well, books and books exist thanks to trees. Then we could say that books are born from trees. Yeah, I think that's the idea this tree represents. Can we get the book? No? 
Alright. Is there anything over here then? Nope, just a tree. What's this? Oh, that's the sun door, right. My game is frozen. Oh no. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. The door is locked. Okay, right, so... I guess that's either the sun door or the moon door. And we know how to open each door, just... We don't know what they mean by, like, the moon, the stars, like... Do they mean, like, making the other doors disappear? The statue is so well made that it seems like it'll come to life at any moment. Are you sure it's a good idea to say that in, situ in the situation we're in? Yeah, Lewin has a point. Because <laughs> every time the protagonist says that, it'll usually happen. So I think that's all that's in here. So I guess we should find out what's up these stairs. There are many romance novels on the bookshelf. The atmosphere changed. This must be a new area. Seems so. This reminds me, how did you end up in this library? I fell asleep and when I woke up I was here. That's pretty much what happened to me too. Come on, Lewin. Maybe there's an exit here so we can go back to our world. Let's keep looking. Hmm. So it doesn't seem like there's much else over here. Hmm. So. I'm assuming this will be locked. We can't even interact with it. So. We found one of the doors. But we don't really know what to do about it. Didn't. This is supposed to be the tree of wisdom. Yeah, the tree of wisdom is thirsty. So we need something to put water in for the tree of wisdom, I'm guessing. The only problem is what? Like, there's a book right here. Not not a book, a door. Fucking uh There's a door right here. It's very clearly either the sun or the moon door. And I think, like, in order for the moon door to be open, the stars have to disappear. And in order for the sun door to open, the moon has to disappear. The only problem is, I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Oh, there are things over here. Okay, that would probably help, huh? Let's go ahead and save while we're here. What's this? Pinning of the Mona Lisa. to direct with these. I always have trouble reading the books on the bookshelves. I wish I- oh wait, not reading, te reaching. I wish I were taller. You understand how I feel, right? Yeah, I do. Hey, are you saying I'm short? Don't worry, being short has some advantages. We can reach books that are closer to the floor. Huh, that's one way to think about it, because, like, I'm five foot, so, like, I know that feel. But, like, I never really heard anybody put a positive spin on it, so that's neat. Also, there's a glowy thing over here. Many glowy things. Bust, it feels like you're being watched. Great. I don't like that. Okay, so what's up here then? Another door. So I guess it's just a matter of friggin' pick a door, any door? Oh, that door is locked. Hmm. What about this door? Hmm. Did you tell me which book I would get along with? Uh, I need to think about it. 
Okay, so let's see. I guess we should inspect each book. Book with an orange cover. Book with a yellow cover. Book with a purple cover. And book with a blue cover. That isn't really helping our situation. Like, maybe we're supposed to find the answer in another room. Oh! So, hold on the door. Sometimes opposites attract. Do you want to leave? No. Hmm. Well. On the color wheel, the one, the color directly opposite of green is red. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a red book in here. So, maybe orange? Hmm, do you think so? Hopefully I won't die as a result. green book is talking with the orange book. It seems like they don't click with each other. Oh, shit. It's a note on the door. I am sorry. Do you want to leave? Am I gonna die? Yup! Okay. Maybe... the yellow one? Seems like they don't click with each other. Okay, BRB dying. I'm starting to think maybe we should come back to that later. Because, like, it says opposite to tract, and I wouldn't really consider purple or blue to be green's opposite. If anything, they would complement it. So, unless we can find a red book, then let's not worry about that for now. Oh boy, there are a bunch of easels in here. Painting of an apple. An apple. An apple. Lots of apple paintings. Hello. If you came here for my painting class, you'll have to come back later. Painting classes? In a library? That's right, miss. Some have illustrations on their covers and on their pages, right? Learning more about it allows us to know more things about ourselves. I see. Illustrations are also a part of books. Fair enough. Hmm. Art books. Art books. Hmm. There's that bus that always fucking falls on us. So... Hmm. I guess we'll have to come back here later, too. Is this? We can't examine it. Hmm. It's up here then. It's locked. Okay. Oh shit. I wonder if there's like a thing on the other side of the garden. I mean, probably. Yep. Same wall over here. Hmm. It's up here. Locked. Mm. Wait a second. There's a there are moon banisters over here. Let me check something real quick before we explore this area more. Yeah, and these are marked with the sun. Okay. So I guess this is kind of what they meant by the sun and moon. So I guess that big door at the end of this passageway is the eclipse door. I think. So let's find out what else is in here. Oh. And we have this conversation before. Oh, hello, bus that falls on me repeatedly. Kind of. It's blocking the door this time. 
It's a beautiful dress in the showcase. Oh, there's a shiny thing in the bookshelf. Bookshelf shelf called Fashion and Colors. Yoink! Have you ever thought about using complementary colors on your outfit? Complementary colors are colors that have opposite positions in the chromatic circle. Because these colors are opposites, they produce the strongest contrast when compared to other colors. Yeah, red and green. So, I knew that already. But, we need to find a red book. If we're gonna make the puzzle in that other room work. Oh, hi! What was that? Hi! I'm gonna go save. Like, real, real quick, I'll hit you up in a second. Or you'll hit me up, probably. There we go. Well, we know that statue's not blocking the door no more. Oh. One of the dresses has been stolen. Great. Okay. Is this changed? Nope. Alright then. Uh, let's just see what's in- nope. Uh, let's just see what's over here real quick then. What are you doing? Books don't deserve to be covered in dust, so I'm cleaning the dust off the bookshelves. We shouldn't waste time on this. Aw, Arya's so sweet. <laughs> hmm. Anything in here? If there's a- oh yeah, there's a door. There's a wooden bucket on the floor. Can I take it? Yeah. I we'll probably need that. Let's see. There are many romance books on the bookshelf. There's a book called Cinderella, written by Charles Perrault. If you guys didn't know this, fun fact, the original Cinderella was actually fucking horrifying. Kinda. The of the book is marked. And when the clock strikes twelve, the spell will be broken. Okay. I mean, we know this. So, hmm, hello, a feather, right here, for us to save at. So what, 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 what gives? What gives? Oh wait, hold on a second. My brain did a think. Ooh, ooh, my brain's working. My brain's working and my memory is not being shit for once. Because if I recall correctly, if I recall correctly, the, 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 the tree of knowledge wanted a little drinky drink. The tree of knowledge has red books. Okay, so, 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 if we give it some water, if we give it some water, we'll get a red book! Haha! I did a smart! Let's actually, like, save real quick, just, just, just to be safe. There we go. What about this book? Do you think this book would be a good match for me? Yes. You think they've clicked? Yeah! Well done, Arya. Want to leave? Yes. Think. Oh, what's that? It's a key. Rainbow key. Okay, so 
let's skedaddle over here and save real quick before something kills us. And since we're running a bit low on time, we will find out what this key goes to next time on Let's Play Aria Story. I will see you guys then, and take care. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing and hitting that subscribe bell. If you want to see more of my content, there are some recommendations for you on screen right now. See you soon!